Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will try to solve a problem that was asked in JM Economics paper of 2021 about the life cycle hypothesis. The question is like this. Individuals in a country start earning and consuming at the age of 18 years, retire at the age of 60 years and die at the age of 90 years without leaving any debt or bequest. That is, they uh, consume or they exhaust their all earnings the income of an individual at age t is given by the expression that is income function is a function of uh, the age of the individuals that is uh, the expression is given by 100 t minus t square okay the price is uh, the price level is constant and the interest rate is zero okay according to life cycle theory of consumption the average annual consumption of the individual is we have to find the average annual consumption okay so how do we solve this very question let me uh, draw the line first to see what we are being given we are being given the age when the individual start uh, consuming and earning okay so 18 years is the age when they start earning and consuming okay they retire at the age of 60 years so let us say this is 60 years they retire at the age of 60 years and they die at the age of 90 years that is life expectancy is 90 years okay also the income of the individual is the function of their age that is given by t and it is given by the expression 100 t minus t square okay we need to find average annual consumption okay now life cycle theory of consumption tells us that individuals plan their consumption and saving behavior over their life cycle first uh, they tend to smooth note of their consumption over their entire lifetime okay how do they uh, do this first they save when they work and then they disave when they retire okay so this is the main crux of, uh, crux of the life cycle hypothesis so let me draw this uh, graph of this question and you will get the idea what i mean by this okay so we are being given that the individual start at the age of 18 years they start working when their age is 18 years and also they are consuming at this uh, age okay now we are being given then if they start from the age of 18 what will be their concept, uh, income function income function will look like this okay and we are being told that they retire at the age of 60 okay this is the income function of the individuals when the age of the individual is 18 okay let us say when the age of the individual is 18 in place of t we have 18 what is the income of the individual at that time that is given by 100 in place of t we have 18 minus 18 square this comes out to be 1800 minus 18 into 18 i have calculated it this comes out to be 324 and it comes out to be 1476 we don't need to do this calculation i'm just giving you uh, the idea how do we draw this very curve so this is here one four seven six okay also what will be the income of the individual when his uh, when his age is 60 so just plug the age value here that is 60 because this is the income expression so we will get 100 into 60 minus 60 square this comes out to be 6000 minus 3600 and this comes out to be 2400 okay when the age of the individual is 60 his income is this point i am uh, talking about this point this is 2400 okay now what will be his maximum earning over his entire life it will be simply when the slope of this very curve is zero 
at that age his earning will be maximum okay so how do we find the slope of any curve we just take the derivative of the given uh, function and set it equal to zero okay that means we set we take the derivative of this very function and set it equal to zero this will give us the slope of this very function so what is the slope of this very function so this is slope is simply dy upon dt and we set it equal to zero so if we differentiate so this will become 100 the derivative of t is 1 minus derivative of t square is 2t and we set it equal to 0 that means 2t is equal to 100 or t is equal to 100 upon 2 that gives us 50 okay the, it tells us that when the age of the individual is 50 he will earn maximum okay and we can cross check it here also we can cross check it here let us say income of the individual when his age is 50 is given by so when his age is 50 what will be the income of the individual that is 100 into 50 minus 50 square so 100 into 50 is 5000 minus 50 into 50 is 2500 so we get here 2500 okay so when age of the individual is 50 he earns maximum income okay so here we got we have to do nothing with these very va uh, values i am just trying to give you the idea how do we form how do we uh, form uh, or rather how do we calculate the income when the age of the individual is given from the uh, the given income expression of the individual okay now coming to the question so we are being uh, told that when the age of the individual is 60 he retires after that he will not earn anything so his income will become zero okay so if his income becomes zero what will he then consume okay he will consume from the savings he made during the working period okay let us say the consumption uh, function uh, consumption function is given by this let me draw this is the consumption of the individual okay and we have this very here we have 90 let me write here 90 is the age when he dies okay so this part shows savings okay now what will he uh, consume from 60 to 90 he will use this very savings what we call here this savings okay so this portion this portion is the this saving this saving okay so he will use the savings uh, uh, for what uh, sorry uh, he will uh, use the savings uh, he used to do in his working age for the consumption uh, in the uh, after the uh, retirement okay and he tries out to smooth note of his consumption function so this gives us the average consumption of the individuals okay now we need to find the annual average annual consumption for the individuals how do we find the average uh, annual consumption we need to find what is the total earning of the individual when he retires to the age when he when he retires that means we need to find the area of this very uh, area which lies below the uh, income curve this will give us the total income okay and what will be the average income average average annual annual consumption sorry consumption will be equal to total earnings total income okay divide by the age he starts working uh, to the age when he dies okay so this is 90 minus 18 
so they uh, 90 minus 18 gives us 72 okay so we have to find the total income first and divided by 72 the age uh, the number of years from his uh, working to the age he dies okay now how do we find the area under this very curve it is very simple we need to integrate this curve this income curve from 18 to 60 that is we need to take the definite integral from 18 to 60 and integrate uh, this income function so total income total income will be equal to that is the definite integral from age 18 to the age he retires and the integration of 100 t minus t square dt okay we need to take the integral of this very uh, income expression now let me rub this out uh, we don't need uh, this very thing i it was only used to show you how do we uh, grab this out okay so now if we integrate this we can write it like this the integral of t is uh, t square upon 2 so we have 100 t square upon 2 by the rule of uh, integration if we have x to the power uh, n its in, uh, integral will be simply x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 exponent is added by 1 and we divide by the resulting exponent since we have t uh, to the power 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 t square upon 2 okay uh, minus similarly here this is t this 2 the exponent is added by 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so we have 3 upon 3 okay let me rub this again here and we have to evaluate this integral from 18 to 60 that is first we need to evaluate it at 60 and then subtract by evaluating these uh, these very terms at 18 okay so it is simply what we do here so we have two ones are two fifties are so we get here 50 that means when we evaluate uh, these terms at 60 what will we get we will get 50 in place of t we have 60 so i will write 60 square upon 2 so we don't have here anything because this 2 has been cancelled with 100 minus t cube so in place of t we have 60 cube upon 3 so first we evaluated uh, this uh, these terms at 60 okay then we need to subtract uh, subtract and evaluate uh, these two terms at 18 so we have 50 in place of t we have 18 so i will write here 18 square minus we have 18 cube in place of t divided by 3 okay now when we solve this will come out to be uh, 50 into 60 into 60 is uh, 3600 so this becomes 50 into 3600 minus 6 into 6 6 uh, 6 are 36 into 6 is 216 so we have 216 and we have three zeros here okay divided by 3 minus now we have 50 into 18 into 18 we have calculated 18 into 18 uh, that is 324 i have calculated it earlier minus 18 into 18 into 18 this comes out to be 5 8 3 2 upon 3 okay when we solve this very expression we will get uh, total income uh, that is total income of the individual individuals will be equal to 9 9 9 3 7 4 4 okay if you solve this very uh, these very uh, exp uh, these very terms you will get 9 3 7 4 4 okay this is the total earning of the individual individuals okay now 
we need to find average annual consumption now average annual consumption average annual consumption will be equal to total income total income that is the area which is under this income curve which comes out to be nine three seven four four okay and we divide it by 72 that is the age when he starts earning to when he dies that is 72 and when we will when we solve this out this comes out to be 1302 so average annual consumption for the individuals will be 1302 i hope i make myself clear so let me repeat how do uh, we calculated this very thing okay for this i need to rub this out okay we were being given that an individual starts at the age of 18 okay he retires at the age of 60 and he dies at the age of 90 okay now between this thing between 18 and 60 he earns okay what is the earning uh, under uh, this period it is simply the integral of this very curve income curve and we take definite integral from 18 to 60 and we got it earlier that is the area under this curve comes out to be uh, when we solve this uh, this has came uh, this uh, came out to be uh, 93744 okay now after 60 his income becomes zero what will he use uh, for the consumption whatever he saved uh, in the working period he will use that very uh, that very portion for the consumption after he retires that means uh, individuals plan uh, their consumption and saving behavior over their entire lifetime okay so since he is earning from 18 to 60 and total earnings is uh, 9 uh, 3 7 4 4 that is his entire lifetime earning okay and he starts working at the age of 18 and dies at the age of 90 okay so what will be his uh, consumption annual average consumption it is simply uh, total earnings that is 93744 upon upon the age he dies okay uh, sorry uh, uh, from the age he starts working to the age he dies that is 90 minus 18 comes out to be 72 so that came out to be one three zero two uh, something like this okay so it is very simple if he uh, if he retires at the age of 60 the savings he he made during the working period will become his dis savings after he retires till he dies okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you